we got the delta delta ct values from all of these um, conditions treatment conditions and now we will be calculating the fall change without the uh, fall change the fall change is referred to 2 to the power minus delta delta ct and here i calculated these values as um these one so now we got the fall change of these um, treatment condition we can now plot these and see um, how the visual is uh, actually worked here so let's so this is our tiger genes so pillow one pillow two get th okay so after a specific treatment we found the first one is 0 0.7 approximately and then 1.5 and this one is 63.2 the last one is 68.2 okay so now we'll be plotting here so you can insert graph here i guess this graph is okay all right so you can just now change the graphs as per your um, interest you can change the color you can change the level here so i'll just change the chart title can write it um logic expression so that's how the delta delta fall change is calculated um, so just some tips and common pitfalls in these cases so the chose a reference gene of your interest with stable expression so i selected here cap dh but you can select um, different one as per your uh, protocol and experimental design and ensure that the amplica amplification efficiencies for target and reference genes are pretty similar for accurate results so here i haven't shown the amplification efficiencies but i have shown these to my other uh, videos you can quickly check on it and uh, make sure that you also take the data where the efficiencies are pretty similar between the controls and um, reference and target genes all right so to